right now, I'm going to bring up some guests of mine. This is Anthony and Aaron from Empty Seat. What's up, y'all? Hey, um, hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Long time. Yes. Merry Christmas to y'all. How you doing? Good, good. How was how was uh, how was Christmas Day and Christmas Eve? Noche buena and all that. Just chilling. We just stayed home and just ate a lot. <laughs> eating in a present. <laughs> trying to cover the face. <laughs> <laughs> trying to shed those pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're just uh, hanging out at the house, not doing much, enjoying the views. We live out here in the desert now, so it's a whole different scene. So clarify for me, please, exactly where do you live? Don't give me the exact address. <laughs> Because <laughs> no, I just I, I kind of get confused with you say by Coachella, by Coachella. Oh yeah, Indio. La Quinta. La Quinta. <laughs> Next door to Indio, yeah. Right there, right there. Coachella oh, cool. Valley. We kind of everybody calls it Coachella Valley. It's like a big Coachella, Valley, the desert cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this. This is um, 2020. You guys are cranking, you're recording, you release a video right before everything hits, right? Um, what are your plans for this year as you're going and and what happens at the pandemic? Like what happens to you guys? Like, you know, you 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 tell me about how what that feeling was early on this year. Yeah. What? Uh, it's like what you said. I mean, we did that video for won't wait right before everything hit. Um, so that came out right in time. Um, I don't know. We just kept going. I mean, it just, from there, we just made sure everything kept going and kept writing and we're still recording, you know, we recorded another song and we have plans to record more songs soon. It, yeah. Even when we started the video, we were right before we kind of didn't know what was happening. Right. So we're kind of, I don't watch the news like 24 seven and we're, we finished the video and then there was like something missing, right? Like in the video, you kind of go back into it and you go, well, we can add some stuff to it. COVID had started. So the panic just was out there, but the streets were empty. Um, people were just like hunkering down and our videographers like, well, do you think you guys want to come out one more time? Like do a couple more shots. We're like, I don't know, man, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> but we took, we took advantage of it, though. We did go out there because there was empty streets and empty it, lots. It would have cost. We, we shot some of that. So if you ever see the jumping part where I'm jumping up in there, it's because yeah. there was no one there, man. There was nobody there. Everyone was in fear, and we were in fear too. And I didn't feel like doing it, but yeah, the video it was spontaneous too. So it makes it all for a memorable moment, I guess you know. But it was it was weird. It was kind of depressing in the beginning. It's still weird. Yeah, we didn't know what was going to happen, but I don't even know how we made music throughout this time. It's like I really don't. And we got lucky with the the next track too. So yeah. let's go back in history a little bit because um, I want to say we shared a stage once back in the day, or a couple times maybe. A couple times, probably a couple times. We were green, super green. We were new, <laughs> and I was super ripe. Yeah, yeah, you were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a peach. <laughs> no, you guys are badass, dude. Those were the days, man. Music was, was hot at that where time. Where was it? Was it at, was at the Westchester or was it? I can't remember what what the place was. I don't it remember anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. anywhere. It was good though. I remember we were intimidated because like you guys are a real band. You have like brass, you know. <laughs> uh, Jesse found us, your conga player. Oh yeah, yeah. at the time. He saw us at a. Uh, I remember. I remember him talking Liberty about you guys. It's like, oh, check this out. This band, man, they're really cool. They're like alternative yeah. singer songs, like Gwen Stefani, but she's got red hair. Yeah. She's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how Jesse talks, right? Okay. <laughs> Jess Dog, shout out, shout out to Jess Dog. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, and then throughout the years, you guys kept busy, and and uh, what about playing out? Because you guys. I know you guys have been making a lot of noise out there in in uh, in Coachella Valley, and uh, what has that been like? Just just all of a sudden, kind of stop playing. It's I mean, what what do you do like at home? I know you guys live together, and are you guys driving each other crazy? No, no, we <laughs> enjoy you know 
we're kind of lucky that we get to play music during this time together. Um, we don't have to go out and wear a mask or anything or, or you know, go see our friends. We just, we just get to jam and create ideas and things pop out, you know, and it kind of starts with us and then we get with the band and then we create the rest of it, you know, but it's, we've been fortunate and um, I enjoy staying home. I, we work from home too. So um, every, we're always here <laughs> basically, yeah, unless no. there's a show and there hasn't been. So. It's weird because since then, I think the band rebooted and we were, I already have like another album's worth plus all the old all the old material we can rework now down now that we know more or know more know more about music and i think coming out here and all these people supporting what we do and we're kind of like the outskirt out la people and now it's becoming like more of a communal thing because now we met so many people out here and it's it's great they there's so much music out here and they embrace like what we do and we learned a lot from how serious the music vibe is out here. There's some serious the music seems out pretty here. crazy. It's I hate it. We're it. We, we loving it. But I agree you know, with you. we're we're still half LA and we're half here. So the other two guys in our band, they're from over there. So we're kind of like a California band, I guess you would say. <laughs> I, don't know. From, I don't even know. From what from, from valley to valley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> from the valley. So. Yes, all valley, all valley all the time. This is a uh, let me play the video for Won't Wait. It's a really cool yeah. video. And it makes me want to go to a bar. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it was a good, it was good times that day. Really good times. Empty seat, won't wait, y'all.
<laughs> it's so uh, funny. Andy, man, Andy's wild. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I was watching the video for all the street shots. I'm like, okay, that was that was a COVID shot. That was that was a you know, it's just like especially the one that you're jumping up really high. Is that the crazy one? Yeah, yeah. that's well, we didn't want to come out of our house that day. And we had like a <laughs> Zoom meeting and then we're not used to that. Like what's Zoom other than work, you know? We're doing <laughs> Zoom meetings for band. It's like it's so weird because it's like you're used to just having a band meeting and like we had to do it all Zoom, like, well, we just tomorrow then like in the middle of the night when uh, you know there was no cops or no, nothing in the area so i said you know what let's run the middle of the street let's do it and it, it took some efforts to just be kind of like breaking the law in a way but it was worth it it's a one-time thing nobody was out there so it was perfect well you guys have had a crazy year last year you were uh you won the coachella valley um best alternative band right and best vocals uh, best front woman. Mm -hmm. Best front yeah, woman. Best front woman because she had the best vocals. <laughs> <laughs> I would How's say. that for you? How was that? How, like, how crazy is that? I mean, you guys kind of like yeah. become. Uh, I didn't expect it at all. It was yeah. awesome. It was great. Yeah, we have the awards coming up again uh, January 10th, and we're nominated again for best alternative band, best front woman, and best song. Yeah, that song right there. We'll see. You so know, hopefully we're gonna. So I hope so. It's a lot of good so bands. Get, so. get, get the streak. Get the streak going. Get the streak going. So so tell me about the new single, the latest single, Rise. Uh, I, I mentioned it a little bit last week because we had uh, an artist who had their like childhood idol kind of. Uh, send him a message and that was kind of kind of cute the debbie gibson to jesse lynn uh, madera and you two i mean the band you guys had the chance to meet cherry curry from the runaways what was how did that happen oh wow this story is crazy um during the whole pandemic thing um it was just a little streak of luck because i was for no reason, I just went on my bed and I went on the Facebook and I was just kind of looking and I saw a post come on and said um, that she was on Cameo and, you know, if you want to go on there and talk to her, you know, buy a Cameo and it had just happened. It just came on. And I was at the time, I was just like, you know what, you know, thinking outside of the box with the band, I go, we just came out with Won't Wait. I go, I wonder if I go on there and I do have her do a Cameo just to promote the song you know and i i didn't expect much i just expected her to say hey check out this song and she went way over that she did she did a lot more <laughs> she showed the video and she talked about you know us and the drummer and i was blown away and it, it went even crazier because after she did that um i guess on the app they have where you can chat and it showed she sent me a message and she just started talking to me and I was like, okay. <laughs> so, I was like, no way this is happening. I mean, this is, this is Sheree Curry. I mean, she's a major rock female idol. I still get tongue tied when I talk about it. It's it's crazy. Yeah, she started yeah. texting. Like a I've talked to her night. quite a bit. So, yeah. Bro, it's Sheree. I'm all, I'm looking at the phone. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how it was just. Yeah, we are fans. We're yeah. huge fans. We're watching the, the movie, The Runaways came out kind of revamped the like if people didn't know about yeah. that so i know it was before our time too a little bit and we actually played a gig we did a gig in simi valley for sandy west's uh was memorial that, no oh, it was wow. a fundraiser. fundraiser it was a fundraiser for that we got yeah. lucky again was it, and it was just we were we kind of picked off the internet someone called us over there to do it this guy rusty perry yeah, we met her a while ago in 2007. Yeah, we met her. We met her. Oh, wow. But I would have never thought that that we would be singing together on a song. Like, yeah, Annabelle never. Lewin. Annabelle Lewin was the, the main headliner. And it was just a little tiny club. You know how like cool spots are just small? It was yeah, one of those yeah. that looked, like real tight place. And we were just like, we're well, okay, Annabelle Lewin. Oh, we heard Bella a while before. You know? We didn't know we were young. And you know, now you look back on it like, wow. We it's, met Sheree Curry. We jammed with Annabelle Lewin and Sheree <laughs> Curry. She jumped on stage that night. She sang Cherry Bomb. Yeah, oh, she went up on that stage yeah. that night. We were just like, "Wow, this is so cool!" There was and people there, but 
Yeah, there was, we didn't know who they were. They were famous. There was a lot of cool people rocks. there, but we weren't aware of them all at that time. And um, so, yeah, this this came about, and she had messaged me and asked, um, "Would you? Would you?" I told her that we had another song coming out, which was "Rise." We were writing. And she just said, would you like me to put my voice on that song for you? And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Like, it's it just amazing because this would have never happened if not for COVID. You know, she's a busy person. She just came out with an awesome album and she's a, she was about to go on tour and do all this stuff. And to just be in the right place at the right time, it, it's just I can't even explain it. It I don't even know how it happened. It, that's my Christmas present. That song, forever. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Sheree. We see this. <laughs> and then and then the song itself. You guys said you were already writing it. Uh, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. it's a great song. What was the inspiration behind it? Um, Rise is a song. It's about just you can do anything you know no matter what happens you can overcome anything and just rise you know come out of it um when you listen to the song you know and it says who cares you know it's like who cares what they think about you who cares what they say like you need to focus on what you want and your dreams don't care about what other people say about you you keep going and you know, in this world today, there's just like a lot of stuff going on and a, stuff, a lot of negativity. Yeah, and of we just stuff. wanted to pick people up, you know, and let them know that, you know, regardless of how people are, you can still rise above and you can still, you know, reach your dreams and just, just keep looking forward. Don't look at the sidelines on what people are doing. Just keep going for yeah, the guys, you know? People need that positivity, especially with what we've been going through. And this, we wrote this a year ago. It just how it so happened to work with what's happening now. It's like we need that positivity to rise again, like to, mm -hmm. to come up as like a as a community, as a nation. Uh, if you don't like what's happening politically, you know, everything, it just means that it means to like to come together and just, you know, do it, bring it out. You know, do not do not fall down, like rise up. We can change this world. Well, also, too, no matter it could relate to a lot of people if, if you've had, you know, lost all your money and you have to start from the bottom again or maybe you're coming out of drugs or alcohol or or just anything in your life that you feel like you fell and that you're not going to get back up it's to let you know that you can you can rise you always can rise again you can always start over um just just keep going and believe in your dream that's and that's the strong message and that's a message that we've kind of all been learning the hard way this year and and uh and I hope we all rise uh, from 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 one songwriter to another group of songwriters. That I love. I really love this song. This is a really cool song, and I'm I'm, I'm actually you. proud of y'all for doing for for putting it together. And, and uh, I can't wait to see and hear what 2021 um, you know brings for you guys and what you guys make of it. Because uh, uh, like I said, I'm proud of y'all, and and I'm happy that you you two and the whole band uh, made things work because uh yeah. this is a great song <laughs> thank you thank you um, a lot. cool let's uh i'm gonna remind people where they can reach you online but thank you for being here thank you for being my first interview on truck stop mixtape yay yeah <laughs> cheers with my coffee cheers. cheers cheers with my coffee <laughs> <laughs> oh i got something else there you go. See, she matches. She knows what's up. <laughs> Everybody, Anthony, Aaron, thank you for being here. I, I love you guys. Thank you for doing this. Here is Empty Seat Rise with Cherry Curry. And uh, is was this nominated or was the other nominated? Oh, Won't Wait Not was yet. nominated. Not yet. This well, would be next year. Yeah. Well, you know so what? this Won't Wait was this year. This will be next year. Let's hope. <laughs> put money on it. I'll put money on it. I'll bet money. All right. Here it is. Rise, y'all. Empty seat. Thank you. Driving away It's only the two of us
We can do 